Assalamu alaikum. In next 15 minutes or so, I shall quickly describe all about the GPON project in Mirpur DHS. But before that, what is GPON? Gigabit Passive Optical Network is also known as Triple Play. It includes IP phone, internet, and IPTV. Why? I tell you why. Why it was revealed that most of the service providers they have mostly violated the basic terms and conditions given to them. Like all the cables must be laid underground, must submit cable layout plan, must sign an agreement with the Polishad, must be based inside Mirpur DHS, subscription rate must be approved from Polishad, must possess all licenses, permission from government, Polishad, and Canterbury Board Dhaka, must remain confined to all the allocated sectors, as you see in this diagram, the area distributed for every business entities, most of them they have violated and encroached into one another. Among 10 existing cable TV operators, only one has legal documentation. Area distribution to the internet service providers is also same. Among 10 existing ISP operators, only three has legal documentation. And the existing landphone operators, BTCL has already exhausted their capabilities three years back, and there is no other operator available. BTRC has already instructed them. Krahok Hishabe, Internet Sheba Grohonet Khetre, BTRC Hote license prapto Boidho Internet Sheba Pradhan Kari Pudishthan Hote Shang Jog Bhite Hobe. Boidhuti Khuti Bavar Kore, Jhulanto Tarer Madhume Internet, Ebong Cable TV Shang Jog Grohon Kora Aboidho. Bugarbosto fiber optic Bavar Kure, Sheba Grohun Kurun. There are much more problems. As subscribers, we don't get any broadband. There is no high definition TV, no digital transmission, no stereo sound, no IPTV, no multi platform. Non capable of rendering GPON, including BTCL. Frequent service interruption for reasons unknown. Only one cable TV and three ISPs are found to be legal out of 20 service providers. And they are not under any kind of accountability to anyone. There is an instruction from Prime Minister's office to remove all overhead cables. Desco requested Purishad to remove all cables from their poles. Short circuit, fire, and accidents are on the increase, of which Polishad has got no capability to handle. Residents complain of unsatisfactory service, but they don't get any remedy. There is a compulsion on DHS Polishad to make DHS an ideal residential area. Going green and beautification is also their motto. Facilitate underground power cable project of DESCO. Achieve satisfaction of residents and ensure quality of service. What is the Porsche doing? Yeah. Uh, Porsche has wisely proposed to Army Headquarter to implement GPON. Army Headquarter approves it. DHS completed open tendering in April 2017. 
Shenabiz Limited is selected out of 12 applicants. Porishad finally gives work order in April 2019. And Shenabiz started work from 4th of May. Shenabiz Limited, we give our, our best. best. Gigabyte Passive Optical Network, Jipon, also brings you fiber to the home. Confused about telecom technologies and acronyms? ADSL, VDSL, XDSL, copper, cable, fiber, broadband, high-speed, bandwidth, FTTC, FTTB, FTTH, next generation access? Stop! Actually, it's all very simple, really. All you care about is getting fast internet to send and receive songs, pictures or videos in an instant. Making cheap phone and video calls with family and friends wherever they are. Working from home as easily as in the office. Watching HDTV programs or catch-up TV. Watching videos on demand. Playing online games with friends. Getting an instant online backup of data and sharing it with family and friends and so on. It's a fact that out of all the technologies and solutions, Fiber to the Home, FTTH, is the fastest and most reliable way to access the Internet. What about other solutions then? Mobile connections are much slower than FTTH, especially when several users are in the same area and sharing the available network. Satellite connections are also much slower than FTTH. They entail a delay, which hampers phone conversations and other interactive activities. Other fixed technologies like ADSL use metal wires, which are about 100 times slower than fiber to connect your home to the Fiber City network. In the meantime, it can take an hour to download an HD video, and that's if you're lucky and no other family member is using the internet at the same time. Ever heard your kids complain about this? With Fiber to the Home, you get ultra-fast optical fiber right into your home, office or building. How come? Well, because optical fibers are flexible, hair-thin strands of glass which transmit light. Ever heard of the speed of light? That's exactly what we mean. Just imagine, with Fiber to the Home, you would get the film in minutes even if your kids are on a video call with their grandmother. And this is not going to end soon, because FTTH is completely future-proof, and the capacity is virtually unlimited. Several million European homes are already enjoying fiber to the home. What makes uh, Shena B is unique in Mirpur DHS? It will have 100% underground fiber to each building, each home, with passive green products. It has ITU standard GPON with 2.5 gigabit up speed and 1.44 gigabit down speed. It is upgradable to X GPON for 10 GB speed if there is demand. 100% managed, audited, encrypted, and metered service. Cheapest yet gradually diminishing pricing strategy. It will receive and process TV signals directly from satellites, no dependency. Full Stereo Home Theater TV Audio. CCTV Network with Cloud Storage. Remote access from anywhere, any device. Deliver lots of inter Internet of Things, apps, and automation features to the users. IP phone on fixed and mobile phone app. Free local calls. Unlimited intercom. All equipment, data center, in including 24-7 maintenance support, located inside DHS. Our goal for DHS Mirpur, deliver 200 plus digital TV channel, including HDTV with auto archiving. Free unlimited IP phone calls anywhere plus all incoming free. Don't buy intercom PB, PABX, billing only for calling non-IP phone numbers. Make surveillance network affordable to users, buy only camera and add-on. Create a stronger, interactive and useful portal for DHS community where users can obtain community services from anywhere. Deliver lots of IoT and automation features. Future-proof system, 
always remain upgraded and offer the latest. Proposed key features. To start with, Shenabiz will provide HDTV, broadband internet, and IP phone, but there are future propositions of IoT, surveillance, and member services. If you have a smart TV, you don't need a set-top box, but if you have older version of TV, you will be provided with a set-top box. Monthly subscription are prepaid and it includes HDTV 10 megabyte broadband IP to IP phone call. It will be the lowest in Bangladesh, so the price is not a factor. You propose and DHS Porishad decides. What comes free? Unlimited voice calls to any IP phone. All Kuhog video on demand. Hotspots at all public places, parks, everywhere. Internet and IP phone calls to all moshids. Telemedicine for DOHS. IP phones to all members of Porishad and all security posts. CCTV storage for all cameras of DHS security. implementation plan. The directional drilling crew pre-plans the bore path to carefully avoid obstructions such as other underground utilities. The horizontal bore begins with the directional drill bit entering the entrance pit. The entrance pit is used to contain and manage the drilling fluids. The directional drilling crew are in radio communication with each other throughout the entire process. The directional drill bit is tracked by a SOND, or radio detection device, housed within its extended connection to the directional drill pipe. The depth and pitch is sent to the surface and received by the walkover locating device. The locator then gathers and interprets the information and gives directions to the directional drill operator on which way to steer the drill bit. An experienced directional drilling crew can navigate and steer the drill bit up, down, right, left, and a combination of varying degrees of each to drill a desired horizontal bore path. The drilling crew has the ability to determine the exact depth and location of the drill bit at all times. A typical mid-sized directional drill uses a 4-inch drill bit to drill a pilot bore. The bore path is typically enlarged to one and a half size the conduit that is being installed. In this installation, the bore path has to be enlarged to accommodate the conduit and a reamer is attached to cut a larger diameter hole. The reamer is simply pulled through the existing bore path to enlarge the hole. As depicted in this video, and as with most directional drilling projects, very little of the normal city activities were interrupted during the conduit installation. After the bore path is enlarged, the conduit is simply pulled into place by the directional drill rig. This method of installing utilities has many benefits that include less disruption of commercial activities, less disruption of traffic, less site rehabilitation, and directional drilling can also be used to avoid damage to wetlands, streams, and for river crossings. It requires around six months' time for the complete installation. After, as the work has already started, uh, the laying of underground fiber, as you can see, it is being done currently. It will take two and a half months, and then the network will be installed with imported equipment in the third month. We plan to go live on the sixth month, and the commercial launching will start on the seventh month. Please have patience, as you can see in the chart. We have plotted 
uh, all our activities step by step. And currently the underground fiber layout is going on. So that's all about the G1 project. Shenabiz Limited, we, we give, give our, our best. best. Thank you.